Hey everybody, so this is a video I've been super excited to make because today we are taking a detailed look at the new Honda Pilot Trail Sport. That's right, the off-road Pilot. We're gonna take it off-road and we're gonna test out its all-wheel drive system to find out how it performs. So I've been really excited to bring you this video because the Honda iVTM4 system is supposed to be one of the best, most capable all-wheel drive systems in the land. And what we're going to do in this video is try it first in a controlled environment on the TFL slip test where we get various wheels stuck on purpose in these rollers to see how the all-wheel drive system works to get us unstuck. And then we're going to take it off-road, try it through multiple off-road challenges to see how the system performs in the real world. All right, so first test is the front wheel slip test. So both front wheels are stuck in the rollers. The rear wheels are going to have to engage to get us unstuck and we're starting out in normal mode um, no special settings nothing like that so we're in the rollers nice and settled into drive onto the accelerator a little bit of slip and then the uh, pilot pulled us down so pretty good result um, you know there was no like clunky engagement there was not a lot of waiting we just drove right off that's the easiest of the tests though we're gonna step up to the diagonal test next For the next test, we've got opposite wheels on the corners of the car stuck in the roller. So in this case, it's the left front and the right rear. Now this is a very common situation off-road, but it's also extremely common in the snow and the ice. Imagine you're pulling into your driveway, you've got an icy curb, right? That wheel's gonna start spinning. Uh, we're gonna see how the uh, wheel speed modulation is on this new all-wheel drive system. So into neutral on the Pilot Trail Sport, into drive, normal mode, letting off the brake, gently onto the accelerator. Wow, really impressive. So typically what happens in these videos is um, the wheel that's spinning, the brakes will grab on that wheel, forcing wheel speed to the wheel on the ground. But in the IVTM4 system, we have a really trick rear diff, which can actually manage the torque split left and right all by itself. So that was really impressive. So far things are going really well in the Honda Pilot Trail Sport. So we tackled the front wheel slip test, no problem. The diagonal one, no problem. But we're really stepping up a couple of notches here. So we're doing the diagonal slip test and we are starting with one rear wheel on the ground. So both front wheels completely stuck. The left rear completely stuck. Only the right rear is on the ground. So that very, very advanced IVTM for um, all-wheel drive system is going to have to send wheel speed to the right rear wheel and we're going to see if we can do that we're starting out in normal mode and then if we get stuck we can go to more of the, the trail modes hang on come on oh right so we are moving on to a much harder test i'm joined by my furry colleague blaze here who's going to help us with the evaluation into drive starting out in normal mode here accelerating away Got some slippage, got some slippage. Wheels are spinning. We're not, oh, we did! We did it! Even in normal mode, we were able to get off. I was amazed that that actually worked. Here, let's try it again. I'm gonna reset the rollers and we're gonna try one of the off-road modes, see if that improves it even more. But that was incredible. Just about no other crossover can actually complete that test, especially a front wheel drive based crossover. And uh, the, the pilot did it. Without cheating, without sliding off the rollers, that was impressive. This test is very, very challenging for anything that's not intended to be a hardcore off-roader. And we did it in the normal mode, but let's see what happens if we go into the trail mode. So we have a bunch of modes, sport, normal, econ, snow, trail, sand, and tow. So let's go to the trail mode, the off-road mode. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. So we're settled in neutral, putting it into drive, onto the accelerator. Yeah, even better. Yes, Honda, this is fantastic. All right, front wheel slip test, all three except for the right front on the rollers. Gonna start out in normal mode as always. Onto the accelerator. Got a little bit of slipping. <laughs> Even with the front wheel, we were able to get off with almost no difficulty. That was impressive, that was so good. It was, this is such a good system. Um, I've, you know, I've tested a lot of other Honda products. I've tested the CRV. I've tested the new HRV, and they really, they really struggle on this this roller test. But the Pilot 
especially this trail sport model. I mean, we're, I mean, it's like we're not even getting stuck in anything. That's how good this all-wheel drive system is. So back into trail mode, we'll see if there's a difference. Oh, the accelerator. You can feel that traction control intervention. Pulled us right off. I mean, it's, it's been almost unstoppable on the rollers. There's no scenario, except for maybe all four stuck, which you're never gonna find, um, where, where we got uh, uh, un unstuck there. That was awesome. Really impressive car, but let's go see how it works out in some real off-road terrain. The Trail Sport trim on the Pilot does give you some genuine hardware, which makes this vehicle better for off-road capability. So first of all, we are rolling on a set of Continental Extreme Contact All-Terrain tires and these unique Trail Sport wheels. And the suspension actually sits about one inch higher than the standard Pilot, giving us 8.3 inches of ground clearance. Honda has done something really unique on the underside of the Trail Sport. That right there is a genuine skid plate, which is a huge deal for going off-road. It also has an integrated recovery point right there, which is almost classic exclusive. I'm not sure anyone really does something similar to that. Honda's really proud of that recovery point. Now out back here we have a hitch. The Pilot Trail Sport's rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds. This can also be used as a recovery point and there's yet another skid plate over the fuel tank. Time to go see how uh, the Pilot performs in the real world and we're out here at the Onyx Off-Road Andres Pit Course. Check out Onyx Off-Road. They are our number one go-to off-road navigation software. It's an amazing, I mean I genuinely mean this, not because we're sponsored by them, but because I actually use the app um, on the weekends for fun. It's an amazing system of uh, finding the best trails in your area. Um, it's definitely worth it, so check out Onyx Off-Road. So we are going down into Andre's pit here. We've got a number of obstacles and we're first going to try trenches. So trenches are these ridges cut into the earth at offset angles designed to lift the vehicle onto two wheels. And with a vehicle with open diffs, typically what happens is the wheel in the air just spins and spins and spins and spins and the wheel along the ground stays stationary and you actually don't move anywhere. Um, but with this IVTM system, hopefully we're gonna get some forward movement. We're gonna go into trail mode here. We're uh, pulling out all the stops here. We got Blaze in the back seat. He's a big fan of off-roading. Um, he really enjoys this actually. He gets so excited to jump in the car whenever we hit to the ranch, which I think is really cute. But uh, here we go through trenches. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave the transmission and drive. Now this has a 3.5 liter V6, 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. Um, okay, trail mode there on the mode selection. First up, the left wheels are gonna dive into the hole, just like that. And now, the right wheels are going to start lifting into the air. We're gonna take it nice and slow. The object of this is not to speed through it, it's to make it a challenge for the vehicle. So there we go, we have wheels in the air. Uh, with almost no accelerator, I am just cruising through this. That was impressive. I am barely touching the accelerator. Typically on an average crossover, I am deep in that pedal. Wheels are spinning. We got dirt flying in the Honda. A tiny amount of accelerator, ever so slight, and we're making forward progress. This is where it gets hard, it gets a little steep. Got a little bit more wheel spin, but staying consistent with my throttle position now. We're just gonna crawl it. And we're just driving up this thing. It gets harder at the top because it gets the most steep. Yes! That was so impressive. Now I took it extra slow on purpose to make it an additional challenge for the Honda, but it just drove through that with no difficulty. So next up we have the logs course, and what we've done is we've implanted these pretty substantial logs into the soil. It's a great test of ground clearance. It's also a good test of underbody protection because oftentimes in crossovers, we will scrape a log and throttle control. Uh, make sure we're in first gear. And actually, considering we don't have a low range, the low speed torque distribution feels very impressive. So we're just crawling it, taking it nice and easy. Hold on, buddy. Good sit. So far, the independent suspension feeling pretty good. Haven't scraped on anything yet. Suspension feels very compliant. Front end still holding on. Didn't touch either of the skid plates. And just like that, crawled up the logs avenue. Impressive result. Let's talk about the competitive set for the Honda Pilot. We're talking about vehicles like the Highlander, vehicles like the Telluride by Kia, like the Palisade from Hyundai, right? And none of the vehicles I've just mentioned have much off-road chops. I mean, Kia does have a, a slightly upfitted version of the Telluride, but it doesn't have underbody protection. Um, you know, Honda really 
went out on a limb with this vehicle and I really appreciate that because it just goes to show their commitment to actually not only making the, the Trail Sport a, a visual badge package, but an actual capable package. Case is on the easy side of the rocks course. We're going on the hard. I'm gonna do the hard side. Yeah, we're going right to the hard side in the Pilot. That's how much faith I have in this vehicle. Now I had a chance to drive this thing when it was still in camouflage. Honda invited me out on a trip where we took it on a pretty serious off-road trail in the Colorado Rockies. Uh, it was actually one of my favorite trips last year because it, it was amazing what the engineers felt capable of taking this vehicle through. Um, and, and I wanted to independently test it, which is why Honda has now lent it to us for some days here in Colorado without the PR people next to me. We're going up rocks. Now, in a typical crossover in the class, I would never even attempt to imagine tackling this course because you got, um, you know, no underbody protection. You got no fuel tank protection. You got the wrong tires, but look at what we're doing. Look at what we're doing in the pilot right now. This is a three row family hauling SUV. Just went up the rocks course, the hard rocks course. We didn't scrape anything. We're gonna have to push it further. This is gonna be the first crossover ever we're about to take through the pond course. Not the whole pond course, because we don't want to completely rip off the front end, but some of it. We're gonna see what we can do. Now, there are two other vehicles that I have to mention in the three-row class that I want to take through this course that I haven't yet. The Grand Cherokee, um, the Trailhawk 4xE, very capable vehicle, probably a little bit more so than this because it has a two-range transfer case. And then the Explorer Timberline, I'm watching Case try to get across the, the obstacle here. He's about to fall in the river. Um, and the Explorer Timberline, which we're finally getting from Ford here in a couple weeks, so we'll have videos on that here shortly. But IVTM system is so capable. You know what's funny? Like, Honda has... Um, some of the best side-by-side, -side, some of the best, arguably the best off-road motorcycles in the whole world, but they've never really entered the class of off-roaders in a passenger vehicle. Toyota has a 400, the Land Cruiser, all this long history. Honda hasn't done that really until now. They had the thing with the Rodeo, which was really, um, or so the Passport, which was really an Isuzu Rodeo, but it's good to see them actually stretching some chops here. Now we're gonna test the ground clearance here. I've never taken a crossover through this obstacle. Oop. We are definitely scraping here. So there is a potential to high center. And there's also potential to scrape the side of the vehicle on this really nasty log. So I'm gonna be pretty safe, pretty careful here. And we're testing out the capability of these Continental tires too hard on the skid plate there. We hit a rock underneath. And we hit it on the fuel tank there as well, but check that out, we made it through Dirty Deeds. Which is a nice, nice, nice challenge for a lot of new vehicles and um, especially a crossover. I don't think I've ever taken one through there. And we did it in the uh, pilot. I'd love to turn off these sensors. So these parking sensors are a little bit annoying. Maybe I can figure out a way to do that here. I'm gonna drive up to the top of this um, or the middle of it, I should say, and stop completely. Now this is where like a Subaru would really struggle, right? With that CVT transmission. So we are pointed up toward the sky. I can't see anything at all. I do, however, and I'll get a shot here on my phone while we're stopped. I do have a camera so I can see what's in front of me through the camera because my view out the front is just nothing but sky blazy. You okay, buddy? Hang on, buddy. Let's see if we can accelerate out of it. Come on, come on, pilot. Good gearing, good gearing. We're slipping a little bit harder on the accelerator. Let's make sure we're in first gear here. Come on. Come on, tires, let's see what you got. Come on, IVTM. Interesting. What if I go into like the sand mode? So we're now going from trail to sand. Come on, come on, Honda. Don't let me down, buddy. Hmm, all right. Let's try backing down a little bit here. This is a really tough challenge because it really is pushing the grip on these tires. We're starting to dig some holes. A little bit of momentum, just a little bit. Well, let's, let's get to the top of this hill. We'll give it just a hint of momentum. Look, I mean, you can see just how loose this soil is. So these Continental tires are good. If I really wanted to do this on the regular, I'd probably upgrade to like a KO2 tire or a mud terrain. Okay, a little bit of speed, a little bit of speed. Come on, come on. Oh, beautiful. And we made it to the top. All right, so um, not quite the grip that we needed out of these tires in that one section, but still, very impressive 
from a Honda Pilot, just a standard Pilot. Very slow. It's true. Yeah, front bumper is about to come into this rock here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh yeah, a nice little rock there. We're about to hit, hit so we can take the obstacle and move it to underneath the tire. Lazy, go. You're not, you're not being a good boy right now. So what we're doing now is we're creating a little path for that front end to kind of not only rise up on, but scoot through. We can do the same over on this tire here. Yeah, we are fully maxed out there. All right, Case, watch the front end, would you? Let's see what we got. At this point, we've kind of found the limiting factor of the Pilot Trail Sport, which is going to be the front end clearance. Um, so now I'm gonna do something I really don't wanna do, but we're gonna actually try to back up David's Folly and go out the way we came. So this is as far as we made it through the Onyx Off-Road Pond course here. Um, still very impressive, but uh, we just need a little bit more front end clearance to really uh, get any further. All right, so we are going out the way we came in, but it's still gonna be a little tricky. We're not out of the woods yet. Um, the MSRP on this vehicle, $50,000, just a tick over 50 grand. Um, and 10 speed automatic in this new Pilot Trail Sport. Taking it a little bit slow through here. That was hard on the skid plate. Wow, we are definitely using the full capability of this vehicle today. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Every inch of capability we've seen, and it's just keep coming back for more. That's the beauty of the trail sport, right? That's why you buy this package, so that you can do things like this, and you can make it home in time for dinner. But, yeah, very impressed with this vehicle. You know, it's not quite as capable as I think a Grand Cherokee Trailhawk, but it's much better on road in my opinion. It's also, um, you know, a pretty decent value overall for what you get considering you have heated seats, heated steering wheel, full three rows, full shebang of safety gear in here as well, right? Like this is a well-equipped vehicle and it's, uh, it's a vehicle obviously still intended more for on-road use and off-road use, but it will take you not only to the cool trailhead, but beyond the cool trailhead to the good camping spots and allow you to do more exploring than you can do in just about any other three-row crossover. So very impressed with Honda. A big thank you for that um, um, to them for letting us kind of explore the capability of this vehicle. And as always, if you want to see more, check out alttfl.com. We'll see you on the next video.